Welcome back guys to Kids Coding Playground here. Today we'll be doing a new type of video on the channel. We'll be doing a video on an in-depth explanation of all the motion blocks as listed here. Uh, this is like a video for beginners that just started scratch. Maybe you want to know what each block does. So maybe you want to watch one of these videos. So we might do some for all the other blocks as well in the future. But first we're going to start out with the motion blocks. So let's get started. First of all, we have the move 10 steps block. So this is exactly what it says, move 10 steps. So um, as you can see, when you click on it, so you can click on this block to make it like run, or you can just use a one green fly clicked, but that's not relevant right now. So you click on it, you see it moves 10 steps. You can see that it is moving. Yeah, you can see that. And if you do move negative 10 steps, guess what it does? Move backwards, of course. So there you go, move. That's the move 10 steps and stuff like that. And you can make it move a certain amount of steps as much as you want. Move 50 steps. Make it move negative 100 steps. Yeah, you can you can just play around with it. Whatever you want. I'm just going to make it go back to the middle. And then here we have the turn degrees step. Uh, turn degrees block. So what it does is it also turns. It just turns the cap. So this is the right turn and this one's the left turn. So you can see there's a difference between both of them. So this one you turn to the right. This one you turn to the left. You can also change this to whatever you want. Turn 90 degrees, see that? Uh, or you can turn this negative uh, 90 degrees. It will turn the other way. See that? Yeah, so turn. Yeah, so basically this is just the turning. It's really simple. And then here we have the go to random position block. Uh, when you click here, you can either make it go to the mouse pointer or a sprite. So let's say I get a sprite. Let's just get an apple or whatever. So you see the apple, we have another sprite. So right here, if we do go to apple, the sprite, then it'll go to the sprite, as you can see. So if I move the apple right here, let's let's see. Of course, it'll just go to the apple. So, and then here we have go to mouse pointer. This will make it go towards the mouse pointer. As you can see, my mouse is on this side, so it'll go to this side. So I'm gonna put a wait two seconds to show you guys how it works. So go back to motion. So you click on it, my mouse is right here. So you see the cat, it goes to my mouse pointer. So let's try again. What if I want to go here? So you can see the cat follows the mouse. And then we have another one, which is go to random position. Exactly what it says, just goes to a random position, as you can see. And then right here, we have the go to position, go to X and Y. So basically, this is where it will set the position of any sprite. So let's say you want to make this cat go to 100, 100. Well, then it'll go to this position, which is 100, 100. And if wherever you drag the cat is wherever it will set it to. So you see right here, it changed. So I'm going to show you guys that it changed. So like it goes to this position, as you can see. So I'm going to set it right here. So if you click this one, it goes to this position. So yeah, so basically it just basically sets the position of the cat. And if you want to make it to go to the middle, it's of course zero, zero. So you click that, it'll go to the center. And then next we have the glide. So glide to a random position is exactly what it says as well. It'll just glide to a random position, you can see. And you can also change the duration of the glide, like two seconds. As you can see, it'll glide a little bit slower. About five seconds uh, to show you guys it actually is gliding slower. As you can see, it's gliding much slower. Yeah, so that you can change the duration. Also, Apple, you can make it glide to a sprite as well. So you can see, click it, it'll go to the Apple glide there. And then finally, we have the glide to mouse pointer. I'm going to put another wait two seconds so I can show you guys that it goes to the mouse pointer. So let's click it. So my mouse is right here. So you can see it glides to the mouse. So that's what the glide thing is. There's also another glide block. This is if you want to make it glide to a certain position. So you can basically make it whatever position you want. So what if you want the cat to glide right here? So you'll get this. So first, you set the position to right there, right? So you can just click that, it'll glide down there. So it'll also glide to the corresponding X and Y. So if you want to glide back to 0, 0, 0, 0 then look, it'll glide there. You can also change the duration of the glide like any other one. So, oops, I need to change this. So maybe 50, 150. So as you can see, it's gliding pretty slow. Yeah, so that's basically it for the glide. Next, we have the point and direction blocks. So as you can see, 90 is the default. So it's 
already at position 90. So you can set this to whatever you want, maybe 120. You click it, it will point in the direction of 120. Um, you can also rotate this dial, so wherever you want it, so negative 90, it'll point the opposite way. As you can see, when it's pointing direction of negative 90, it is flipped upside down. And what if you don't want that? Well, it's uh, luckily, it's really easy to fix this. You can either click this button right here, as you can see, the left-right button, so now it won't flip upside down. Or you can also use end block inside the motion, and we'll get there later after we get, we're going in order. So once we get there, I'll show you that it will also work as well. So next we have the point towards block. So the point towards block basically makes the cat point in a certain direction. So first we're gonna have to make it go rotate all around as well right now. So then it will be able to point towards something. So the point towards, you can point towards the mouse pointer apple. So as you can see, you point towards the apple, it'll point towards the apple, it's pointing already towards it. And point towards the mouse pointer, It'll point towards your mouse pointer as you can see it will rotate that way so i'm going to put a weight as well let's wait two seconds so you play it it's going to point towards it so as you can see that cat points towards the mouse pointer so that's the point towards block and then next we have the change x block so basically this is um so first we have to make this uh go back to its original direction let's go back to 90 so and then you remove the change x this is basically moving 10 steps but it doesn't uh it's it's not affected by like the positioning of the cat, so if the cat is pointing towards the left, then moving 10 steps will move it towards the left. But changing x will only change it on the x-axis. So changing x by 10, as you can see, it will just keep on moving 10. Let's do by 50 or something. See, as you can see, it's moving by 50. And if you do negative 50, it'll move backwards. So you see that? So there you have the change x by 50. And then here with the set x, so this is wherever you want to set your x position to. So let's say you want to set the x for the cat to 150 maybe. Then you'll set it over there. So you can see the cat gets set right there. It's basically a go-to block, except it's only for the x position. You can even do negative 150. It'll be right there. And next we have the change y. That's basically the same thing as the change x. You can see it's changing on the y-axis. And you can do like maybe negative 50 or something. And then it'll move down by 50, as you can see. So yeah, that's basically what it does. And then here we have the set Y. This is also like the go-to block. It'll set the Y of the uh, cat. So we'll set it to 150. So as you can see, it gets set to 150. And we'll say you want to do 10. It gets set to 10. So it basically also sets the Y of the cat. Instead of using this, maybe you only want to set the Y position, then you'll use that block. And then if on edge bounce, I'm going to make a simple uh, script for this, so um, it will actually work. So right here we have a simple script to show how if on edge bounce works. So let's play it. So you can see the cat is bouncing all around. It doesn't go off the edge. It just bounces around like that. Um, let's say you would want to remove this. Guess what happens? It just gets stuck on the edge and it doesn't go anywhere. So um, it just gets stuck on the side. So if on edge bounce is good for like some games where you don't want the characters to get off the borders, then you can use the bounce. And then next, like I explained earlier, we have the rotation style. Like remember I showed you that if you don't want your cat to be upside down like this, you can click this, right? Well, maybe you don't want to do that. You want to set it every green flag is clicked. You just do this and you can set it to don't rotate all around or left and right so if you send it to all around it'll be able to flip all around so now it's upside down and then don't rotate which is make it you can't rotate it at all and then left right you play it it'll just go back upright and then right here of the x y and direction so these are all three um very important for some games like platformers so we have x position this basically is the x position of whatever the sprite is so as you can see, the sprite is at 16, so maybe you can try to detect the X position of some sprite in a platformer. Same with this, this is the Y position of the sprite, it's negative 1, um, except this goes into the decimals. Um, you just have to know the whole number integer, you just have to know the integer. So that's the negative 1, and then direction, this is the direction it's pointed towards. As you can see, it's negative 89 point something, but right here is negative 90, it just rounds up to the nearest... Uh, number so here we have the negative 89 rounds up to negative 90 rounds up to the nearest integer 
And then, so that's what the direction is. So let's say I change the direction to maybe right here. As you can see, the sprite direction will change as well. Well, you can't really see the change because I set it to no ro uh, left and right rotation only. So if I switch it back like this, you can see that it changes. So that is it for all of the uh, motion blocks in Scratch. I hope this video really helped you guys on understanding motion blocks. And if you're new to our channel, um, please consider subscribing to our channel and leave a like on this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.